I've been trying to film a video, this video for a long time, but somebody like who is cleaning outside, like I respect her cause she's doing her job, but I'm trying to do mine, but she's playing music and I have so much to do today. Like so much, do you guys know how many videos I have to edit to put out? Over seven videos that I have to put out. Like, yes, she's gone. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Robin Taylor and here I do makeup tutorials, reviews, and giveaways. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and let's get right into this review. This gnat trying to fucking fuck my shit up. So today I'm gonna be doing a review on the new Can't Stop, ouch, on the new Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Foundation by NYX. I think they collaborated with Alyssa Ashley. I'm so excited because personally, Alyssa Ashley is one of my favorite YouTubers. I think she's so beautiful. I love her personality and I don't know. I just think she's really dope. She's one of those YouTubers who just doesn't get involved in any drama. She's just really pretty and she's like the role model sense. And she's dope at makeup so I already know this is gonna be bomb. Well, I can't be biased. I still, I can't be biased. So I'll, I will still tell you guys my truth with this foundation. I already did my brows because I do my brows before anything else and I prime my face with the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage or Vis, whatever. Anyway, that's what I prep my skin with. I need to prep it right here because I have a lot of texture here because I have eggs and right there. Yo, I had eczema in like the weirdest spot, like right here, and it used to turn really dark, and I just had like a really bad mustache. It's like, a, like, like not even like a mustache mustache, like just a dark thing right here. Oh, I used to hate it. Anyway, going towards the review. I'm gonna use a beauty blender because I use beauty blenders for all of my foundation, and it's only fair. I'm gonna make it a little damp, and I'm spraying it with some Makeup Revolution. Um, setting spray. When I tried this at Ulta, one, I'm really glad that Ulta had my shade. Me and Sierra like went to Ulta like right before they were about to close. Oh my gosh, I'm cutting my head off. I know they hated us, but I'm so glad I got my shade. And I tried a couple of ones. They seem really oily to me, but this is supposed to be, let's look online to see like what it says. Don't stop. I wanna go to the movie theater so okay. Okay, so. The details on this foundation is that it's only at Ulta, either online or in stores. It's lightweight, waterproof, and pigmented AF. <laughs> NYX Professional Makeup Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. So this is a full coverage foundation. Hustles as hard as you do. This comfy liquid formula comes in 45 flattering tones. 45. When I went to Ulta to get my shade, honestly, they were like, four to five foundations that could have possibly been my shade. And I was so shocked, because usually I have one or two, but with this one, I had like five different options where I could be like, uh, this one's a little too dark. Uh, this one's a little too bright. Uh, this one is yellow. Uh, this one's just right. But I did go to Ocean City, so I got a little darker, a little more chocolier. I got What's, which one is this? Chestnut? But hopefully it matches. This is an everyday creamy shade, glides on smooth, delivering a matte coverage. So this is matte, but when I swatched it on my hand, it seemed like oily. Maybe it turns matte. This little overachiever also works to control shine and mattify your complexion all day long. But it doesn't stop there. This foundation is non com Why do they do this to me with these big words? Anyway, whatever. And suitable for normal, oily, combination, and sensitive skin types, which I have like combination skin. I do have eczema and my skin is very sensitive because of that. So how to use this is after prepping your face with a can't stop, won't stop matte primer. I didn't use that, but whatever. Apply and blend the foundation using a Pro Total Control Drop Foundation Brush, Pro Flat Foundation Brush, Complete Control Blending Sponge for your fingers. So I'm using a beauty blender. So I'm gonna take about two pumps and see how far that gets me. 
By the way, this foundation is $14.99, $14.89. This is the one foundation that I'm using that actually matches my neck and that I don't have to take down, but I think it's a little too dark. Sierra done set me up. This is a little too dark. I like the foundation though. And in the winter, I get lighter, so I have to get a, a lighter foundation, possibly today, because I think I really like this foundation. It kind of reminds me of like Fenty and Maybelline combined. This is really, really nice. And I'm not being biased, this was really nice and the price is very affordable. But like when you put it on your face, like it looks like it's gonna be oily and then it turns like matte. Dang, I really did get a, I did get a shade too dark. Cause if you look at my chest, then usually chestnut is like a brighter color. But 45 shades, shit, that's really good. This is a really, really good foundation. It is full coverage cause it kind of like, all my blemishes are gone, which I don't have that much cause girl has some really cute skin. I really do like this foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then give you guys an overall conclusion of how I feel about this foundation. Okay, so my face is still, oh bitch, oh no. Oh gosh, that was so gross. So overall, I think I really, really like this foundation. It stayed matte and it blended well with all the other products that I use. I actually really like this foundation. And you guys know I'm like obsessed with the Maybelline foundation and I really love the Fenty foundation, but I honestly, the Fenty was sometimes a little too mattifying and I felt like it wasn't hydrating enough for me. I still love Fenty, I, I would still get the foundation, but I do feel like this is a combination of Maybelline and Fenty. Like this might be my new favorite. This is my new favorite foundation. And at first I was nervous about it looking too dark, but with concealer and everything, it ended up being all right. I think I probably still sh should go like a shade lighter cause I did get darker over the summer, but this is still not bad. So I'm still gonna keep this one and then get another one. I might restock because I know when people find a good foundation, everybody wants to get the darkest shade and then I'm left with nothing. So if I were you, I would hurry up to Ulta and get one. This is a really good foundation. I I would give it a 10 out of 10, honestly, because I do feel like this is a really good foundation. It's inexpensive. It is very mattifying. It does blend well with other products that I used on my face, and it does not crease. And I've had this foundation on. It takes me like an hour to do my makeup and stuff, so it took me a while. Plus, I got phone calls and everything, and it still looks really good, and I didn't have to touch it up, so I really do like this foundation. Do I recommend it to you guys? Obviously. It's an Ulta, it's $14.89, so you might as well go get some. And I'm excited that Alyssa Ashley, she's a good makeup artist and she knows what the beauty community needs, especially this beauty community needs. I feel like she came through with, you know, making us proud. I do like the name Can't Stop, Won't Stop. It just makes you hype and make you you know, just feel like, okay, I'm putting my foundation on. This is a good everyday foundation as well if you don't wanna have like a beat face. You can use it, it's buildable, so you can use it for a beat face and you can use it for just like touching up certain areas if you don't wanna look rink-a-ding but you still wanna go to the laundromat to do your laundry but then you don't really want people to think that you just came out the house looking crazy so then you put this foundation on. It's happened to me several times. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below and I'll answer them. Give me a thumbs up if you like this review and if you like this foundation and if you're gonna get this foundation, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe subscribe to my channel, but I will definitely link the link to this foundation down below. It's in Ulta.com, it's only in Ulta stores right now, so you won't find it at the beauty supply store. You're not gonna find it at Walgreens. You ain't gonna find it at CVS. You're not gonna find it at Rite Aid. You're gonna find it only exclusively at Ulta. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and until next time, I will talk to you beauties later. Bye! To be complicated but intentionally